Yo, what's up, YouTube boxing community? This is the Boxing J. Right here with a late post fight video of uh, Guerrero and Ortiz. I mean, Guerrero and Mayweather. It's a little late, but uh, first off, I have to start off uh, by saying that Mayweather put out a tremendous performance taking in consideration his performance after Cotto and that he was going in fighting with a lefty and statistically his numbers do go down not a lot by very very little uh, by single digits uh, and as far as connect percentages uh, getting punches landed pretty much across the board when he fights lefties uh, he has a harder time but in this case, he was actually able to land 60% of his punches. If I'm not mistaken, that was the power punches. I don't believe it was overall, but it was up there. And I, I, I'm not sure, but as far as I know, he's never done something like that. So he's actually, he actually put out his best performance yet fighting a lefty. Now, Guerrero, the first round or two seemed to be getting into his rhythm. I thought maybe he was getting in tune with the fight. Maybe he was able to, to land a few punches. I was actually surprised in the beginning. Uh, maybe, um, Guerrero was able to to slip a lot of the punches that Mayweather was thrown. A lot of them. And when he was doing that, I thought he was going to get a better chance of uh, winning the, the fight. But once Mayweather starts breaking him down, he did Mayweather, you know. He was able to break him down. That right, lead right was going in. Everything started falling into place. And no surprise, he won the fight. Now, either Mayweather trained differently or his father's training worked by switching uh, as a head trainer as uh, for his father. It seemed to me that uh, Mayweather Sr. was more of an intellect trainer uh, because in the all access, I've never, I never saw Mayweather Sr. train his son. All I saw was him talking to him when he was hitting the bat. He never, I never saw him do mitts. Uh, any other type of work. Now, I mean, it probably did pay off, and like I said, it seemed more like he was an intellect trainer than an actual physical trainer. But, I mean, hopefully, we'll see what's next for him now. Guerrero, I mean, it, there's nothing bad to losing, losing to Mayweather, especially, he still has a bright future at 147, I would still like to see Broner and Guerrero get down, I know there was a little confrontation, uh, Guerrero wanted to fight at 147, Broner, um, I don't know what happened, that that fight didn't take place, at the end, Broner going to fight Malinaji. Now, if Broner fights Malinaji, uh, Guerrero, that's a hell of a fight. It's up in the air. Because Broner is no Mayweather. He's a Mayweather wannabe, but he is no Mayweather. Those are my thoughts. Hopefully we can see Canelo Mayweather 
It's the biggest money making fight for him. Um, he wants to. I've heard that he wants to bring it down to 147 or a catch weight. Mayweather wants to talk. Like, if he's the perfect guy, or I don't know if he's a smart ass guy. Uh, when he fought Cotto, saying that he wanted the, him for him to be comfortable to fight at the best uh, possible circumstances, and yet he does not want to do that for Canelo. Why? Why is that? I don't know. I'm not saying Mayweather's saying this, but there's a lot of. I read an article on BoxingScene.com that the trainer was stating that their, their negotiations have started to circle. Uh, Mayweather is uh, searching for his next fighter. And they did do brief uh, talks with Canelo's team. And uh, they want to catch weight, according to them. But, I mean, you can't. You can't uh, believe everything that they put out there. But saying that he does, of course, Mayweather, if it's true what, what's going on, Mayweather definitely feels threatened by him. You know, he didn't think about it twice fighting Cotto, and yet for Canelo, it's a different thing. Um, all these damn flomos want to talk about rehydrate, putting in a rehydration clause. Fighting a catchway. Man, I tell you what, man. These flomos are the new fucking pack tarts. When Pacquiao started racking up wins, it was good for boxing. It definitely spiced it up. But the fucking pack tarts started talking their shit like if he was the best thing ever. And little by little, that's what these flomos are starting to be. Annoying as fuck. Hopefully we see the fight. They're raising fucking pay-per-view. Why not? Shit. Saw videos uh, about this cat who's talking about uh, the pay-per-view is going up and Mayweather not fighting the people that we want to see him fight. And he was right. Pay-per-views is going up. We're paying. Shit. Fight Sergio Martinez. Fight. Fuck it. Fight Andre Ward. Shit. We're the ones paying. We're the ones that want the fights. That's how it should be. Uh, but hopefully uh, we'll see. Uh, in, my, in my opinion, I believe uh, Canelo needs at least a fight with Cotto to get more fan recognition. And then a fight with uh, Lara at 154 to up more his reputation. In my opinion, Lada's probably the number two, arguably the number two 154 pounder. I think I think he beat Paul Williams when he fought him. And then that would set up a perfect Mayweather fight. He could fight Cotto in September. Lada early 2014. Mayweather, September or the fall of 2014. And you have a perfect fight set up. The credibility goes higher. The fan base grows definitely by fighting Cotto. What more can you want? But those are my thoughts. Peace, Boxing Jake.